guys and welcome back to another Drafty Josh video. Guys, we've got a new mascot here. I got him yesterday when I went Christmas shopping for everyone and I found him. The Drafty Josh mascot. He's wearing a shirt. Look at this. The hottest merchant game. Link in description, guys. He's wearing a shirt here. Just look how giant he is. Look how giant this bear is. It was the best buy I've ever spent in my life. So he's going to now be our mascot. All of you guys are the Draft Family's mascot, guys. So he's going to sit with me in most of my videos. So I have a friend in every video now. When George isn't with me, he's going to take the place. So let's sit him over there. Oh, he's a bit wobbly. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, he, I, think he, I think he actually needs to sit on the chair. Right, we'll sit him down there. Because he, he's basically my manager. He, he tells me what I need to do and when I need to do it. So you can stay down there. Right, guys, so in today's video, I'm doing another sort of toy review, toy unboxing, all of the fancy stuff. A lot of you really enjoyed my pop vinyl unboxing that I did the other day. So I'm going to jump in and we've got something a little bit different today. I saw these yesterday and they were really, really cheap, like such a good deal. I think they were only £2 each from the shop called um, The Entertainer, I think, Entertainment. It was in pool anyway, on down the high street. So I went shopping with George yesterday to all of our Christmas shopping. And this is what I picked these up extra because I, I wasn't planning on doing a video, but I showed them off in a, in a stream in a previous video and a few people wanted me to go over it. So luckily I haven't actually even opened them yet, but they're these here, guys. Disney, I'm gonna light a bit better on them. Disney twosomes here, guys. Twosome twosomes, they're called. Tussome, twosome, twosome. Something along those lines, but we've got the Guardians of the Galaxy set there, which is so cool because they're, they're all like, actually look, we've got Star Lord, they're all in there and all around the edges, we've actually got what's happening, like their actual game. And then there's mystery ones at the back here. So I'm excited to see what mystery ones we get. So yeah, that's pretty cool to start off with. We've got an Iron Man one and all of the Iron Men are like in the chambers. So they're all different Iron Men. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. They're only like two pound each, so I just brought them. But you can see that all the Iron Men are in different little containers and stuff there. And then we've got just a normal set, which I bought because I saw Star Lord in it and it was only a pound. So that's to go with my Star Lord collection. So we'll, after I've unboxed these, we'll go upstairs and we'll add it into my collection. We'll have to find a space to add it, guys. You can see that there's Star Lord there. Bit of better lighting for you there. Yeah, so we're going to get right in and get these open. So he's, he's going to make sure that everything goes well in this video. So let's start off with the normal free pack here. So let's get it open. Ooh. I wonder how easy this is. I brought scissors this time, not a giant knife, because that always seems like a smart idea. Um, can you just rip into these? Ooh, that is... That's like indestructible. Let's just take a look. I can, yeah, I can do a nice little cut along the top there. Oh my god, these these are these are well built. These are well built. It's always the issue when they're trying to open toys up, guys. I don't want to cut the um. Oh, I need it as well. God, these scissors are terrible. There we go, I got it open, cool. So we've got a collector's guide at the top. Oh. Woo. Then we've got the actual two sims. They look really cool. Guys, once again, there, yeah, there isn't really a point to these, but they just look really cool in my Marvel collection. So I'm gonna find little places to fit them in Ethan's room and in my room and see where they go. So at the moment, we've got Star Lord here. Let me adjust my light. So we've got Star Lord here, guys. As you can see, that's going to go right into my Star Lord collection. That is cool. And we've got a tiny little four there. Four, the Almighty Slayer. So there's the two. I think the idea is yet yeah, that you can stack them up on top of each other, and they just create like you can just create random stuff. So I'll leave those two here, and we've got a mystery one here, but it doesn't obviously say what the, um... It's gone. It doesn't, whoop, it doesn't actually say what the mystery ones are, so we'll, um, we'll save that. No! 
We'll save the mystery one to the end, guys. And we're gonna jump in and we're gonna open this one. See, this is all almost like naughty to rip because look how good the packaging is. Like, but I guess it's I guess it's a little bit lame, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Let's get it open. Let's get it open. Bring me panels. Cool. Is that where it stands up? Oh, that's where it stands up. I've cut it now. The damage is done. Are we in yet? Why are these so difficult? God, these are reinforced. Like, you're not meant to get them out. Pretty sure these are things for kids. Why are they this difficult to open? Aaron. Okay, one, one side's done. You just gotta get under the little lip. Yeah, there we go. Then it splits it open. Oh my lord. How's that one still sealed? These are, these are ridiculous to open. Right, we've got the last two. We've got another mystery one, but that's quite a large one compared to that one. It's, it's a lot bigger, so I'll pop that down there. Rubbish can just go wherever. Got another book. I think that's probably the same. Oh, no, it isn't. Cool. So I'll keep that. So you can see that I've got um, two Star Lords now. Two some Star Wars, we pardon the pun. So yeah, they just like stack on top of each other. So we've got two Star Lords, guys, which I'll put down here. Be about there. Then we can put four on top like that, and you can like stack it. Oh my! They, they are like they're a little bit squishy. So we got um Ronan here. See there, and he's got that's pretty cool. He's got a hammer on the side. There's his little face. And we've also got um Drax Batista. That's quite a straightforward one, really, but it looks that one looks really cool, actually. I'd proper rate that one. I'll create another stack here. We've got, okay, Groot looks amazing, actually. We've got Groot here, and we've also got Rocket. And the idea was that um, Rocket sits on top, just behind his little head, so like that. That is cool. There we go, look at that. And there's Rocket Raccoon there. So those two are both actually really cool on their own. They look cool. So those are two of those. That's another little collection I've got there. Oh. Put him there. And then we had Nebula with um, Gamora on top. So there's Gamora. You can see there, that looks pretty decent as well. And then there's little Nebula. And the little ones are so cool. Look at that. Look how lit they both are. You can't even go wrong with those ones, they both look really cool. So we'll stack, we can add that up on a stack here. I mean, these are definitely meant to be stacked on top of each other, it's quite difficult. I if I put, I'll try and put another on top of them. Um, oh, he's gone. There we go, cool. And this, I love, I love this one, the yeah, eyes. Look, look at little Thanos. They put him, they put him in his little chair. Look how cute he is there. He's got his um comic because these are based on the comics, not the films. These ones. So there's Thanos V there. And then you can you can sit him on your hat as well, guys, at all times. So Thanos will stay up there, right? And now we get to the tricky part. We have to open another one of these, and it just doesn't seem like it's a. Oh, 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 I say Thanos. It doesn't seem like there's a, a legit way to actually even open these. I was just seeing if it said, but it doesn't. It's, I got a bit of a bit of a rip on this one. But I'm just going to cut down again. Yeah, I showed you all the pods, guys, so you can see that they're all in their chambers there. So if we carry on just cutting through. 
a nine piece set. This was only like three quid as well. Try and, oh, these, these scissors, man, are so bad. They're so, like these are not easy to open. These are actually insane to open, insanely annoying. But I got a big cut on that. I'm trying to go diagonal, I'm trying to approach it a bit differently and go diagonal. Oh, this, this is ridiculous. Oh, right, there we go. Yes, we've got an opening. One's out. We've got two out. These are so enforced in here. I mean, it's better than being bad packaging. I'm not, I'm not slating them for that, but oh God, it's ridiculous to get them out. Okay, that was quite a clean opening there. Oh, that's War Machine there. Or Iron Mongo, whatever they call it. That's his Mark I armor. Oh, these are so difficult to get out. These are good like starter packs if you, if you are collecting these. I'm not collecting these guys, I just saw one of these. And I just thought I'd open them up for you on camera because you guys enjoyed my pop final one. So let's take all of these out. Ugh. These get proper stuck in here. Right, that's out as well. Cool, so let's speed this up a little bit. So we've got two Iron Men here. We've got normal Iron Man and War Machine, or well, I suppose that's technically Mark I. These look really cool as well, as you can see here. So like for three pound, it's a ridiculous deal, guys. Get them over there. And then we've got a small version of Iron Man, and then we've got Tony Stark unmasked as well. And this one's actually really cool. The unmasked one. And we've got a little, little um, Iron Man there. So we can put them down with the collection. Oh, too shaky to do any of that. We've got a couple more Iron Men here, which look just as cool. Put them all down there. And then we've got, I'm not sure what this blue one is. It looks like a futuristic one. We've got a little blue one and a little normal one. So we'll put them all down here. So you can see, I might, I'll move some on this side as well. So yeah, they're all actually pretty cool guys. So we've got Iron Man here and Guns of the Galaxy on this side, which is, uh, oh, Rocket fell off, Rocket fell off, Mayday. Just put Rocket on the side, whatever, yeah. So they are pretty cool sets, guys, but these are the mystery openings, guys. So we need to see what we can get out of these. So it's all to do with what's in these. So if I get Mr. Teddy Bear with me, guys, can we do this? Like, ooh, always like, are we going to be able to unbox these and find out what's on what's in these guys? Because this is the mystery opening. These are the mystery ones here. This is what it's all about. This that's a little pose for the thumbnail, guys. Put you there. This is what it's all about. Let's put, put them back down here. So let's see what we get in these. We've got three big ones, one medium one. So let's let's open them up. So I'm going to start off with the small one. Let's see what we get. Oh, why is all this stuff? Ooh, okay. Um. <laughs> what? Where's... That's not right, is it? It says on the back of here. Which mystery character will you get? Nova Yondu, Silver Hulk, or Ghost Rider? You can actually put batteries in Ghost Rider. 
So why did I get Groot out of there again? <laughs> God. Okay, so the first one was not lucky. I was hoping for light up Ghost Rider, guys, but I just got Groot again. I presume that means those are the four rare ones, and then you can get any of the other collection. Because if you look on the back of here, it's a bit ripped now, but you can see that there's a load of rare ones there, and he lights up. So we got Groot for the first one, which isn't the best thing in the world, but it's still pretty decent. So this, this is a bigger one. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna open this one up. Oh, this is actually cut this time. Oh, never mind. That one, guys, that one was out of here. That one was in there. So excuse what I just said, that's fine. And then in here, we got Yondu. And that's who I was hoping for because I didn't want the silver Hulk bus and I didn't want Nova. So we got Yondu here, guys. Look how sick Yondu looks. Yondu is the mystery opening, guys. There he is. He's beautiful. There's Yondu. I'll sit him over here. And then we've got one more, and this is the Iron Man one in here. So this is all dependent on... So out of this one, we, the potential we have, the light up one is Ultron. If I got Ultron, I'd probably like die, because all the others are a bit rubbish. All the others are quite rubbish from there. You can see him there. Ultron's the one that lights up, guys. So. Here we go. Use my rubbish scissors. Yeah. I got gold Iron Man. So the mystery characters were these three here. I'm not too mad about that. It says the odds of getting a ultra, but all it says on the back is you have to be ultra super lucky. So there's probably only like three of them are made. Those are the three I got guys. Right there. And they all look pretty cool. So that brings me an end to the sort of unboxing and random twosome reviews, guys. These these toys are actually pretty cool as far as they go. I mean, for the price that I got them for, I understand um, the full price is quite expensive. You're looking at like £12 for a pack. I only got mine for £3. So they were quite worth it for the money I spent for them. But obviously it does depend on if you're getting a deal or they're on sale or whatever you're doing, guys. Because you can snack them all up along here. You can see it's just a, it's a little army, guys. It's the Marvel army. So you can just see if I point this down, that we've got them all here, all the twosomes here, guys, all lined up. So they, they are quite cool. As far as the sort of, you know, you know you can get some really naff collectibles, but these ones are really cool, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, guys, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favourite twosome is. Do you have any of the super lucky ones? Because um, I probably won't get into collecting these, but I do like these, and I'm quite happy for these just to sit on my Marvel collection, just to go around the edge and top of the pop vinyls to the side. And obviously my Star Lords will go with my Star Lord collection, and so will Yondu, um, Drax, the two Groots I have. Uh, Ronin, Nebula, Thanos, whoops, and Thanos here will all be part of the, oh, and um, four, oh, and Rocket Raccoon, there we go, so that's all part of the Guardians of the Galaxy collection here, and I always enjoy my Guardians of the Galaxy collections because that's my favourite film. So those are going to go into my collection, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, guys, leave a like. Do it for my mascot, guys. Do it for my new... Oof. Do it for my new mascot, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let it go